Are you hungry? Oh. Well, okay then. Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today I'm gonna to be talking about my newborn essentials. Everyone's gonna have a different opinion as to what worked for them and what helped their journey as like a new mom and going through all the newborn trials. You see my puppy, he wants to be in the video. Do you wanna be in the video? But today I'm gonna to be sharing what has made my life a lot easier as a new mom, newborn essential wise. I'm gonna be basically talking about items that specifically deal with baby and not necessarily me. <laughs> Because there's a lot of items that I would consider essentials for new moms, but this is all baby related. So if you're about to have a baby, this might help you out. I know I watched a ton of these videos whenever I was pregnant. So let's go ahead and jump into the video. I have everything sectioned off in categories and my husband and I actually sat down and talked about these as well. So it's not just my opinion as to what's my favorites, but it's also my husband agreeing opinion saying yes these things have made our life so much easier as new parents with a newborn so let's first talk about sleep i know like sleep is a big topic with newborns how in the heck do you get them to sleep you don't they sleep when they want but let me share with you guys what has made our life easier when it comes to sleep first things first have some sort of white noise machine or just white noise in general, you can buy a white noise machine. There's plenty of really good ones out there. Ours kind of sucks, so I'm not going to recommend it. I'm actually going to link all the products I talk about today down below in the description, sectioned off by topic. But there is a sound machine that I really am thinking about getting that every other mom raves about. I literally just need one that plays like the staticky white noise. That's her favorite, it puts her to sleep. That's what I need. If you can't hear, she's sleeping in our bedroom right now in her pack and play, which I'm gonna talk about and we have white noise going. So you may be able to hear that in the background. If you can, my apologies. Just trying to get my baby to sleep. I've also noticed that if you have a Spotify account, they have a baby white noise playlist actually on there. We've played it for her a few times, like for on the go or for in the living room, I can Chromecast it onto our TV and just have white noise playing while I clean the house. And that has been a huge help. That way you don't have to carry a white noise machine with me everywhere. So we have a white noise machine in our bedroom and then we also have our phones that work as portable white noise machines. Something I didn't think about after I had a baby was in the middle of the night, <laughs> you're gonna have to feed the baby and you're probably going to have to change the baby, which requires for you to be able to see what you're doing while you're performing those tasks. And I didn't wanna turn on the lamp because I didn't wanna wake up the baby or the husband, but I couldn't see if I didn't. So what I'd recommend getting is a nightlight or they have those little lights at Target where like you put batteries in them and you can tap them and they're pretty bright. That's what we used for the first, um, few weeks or so we use this little battery operated light fair warning though the batteries do die out on those really fast if you are using them as much as i did so what i'd recommend getting is a sound machine with a night light on it or just get a normal night light and plug it in so that you have some sort of light in your room or wherever the baby is sleeping but not so bright that's going to wake anyone up the next thing I'm gonna recommend is what your baby is going to sleep in, whether you're trying to bed share or you're room sharing, or you are gonna go ahead and test out the crib. I will say, so that's what we're currently doing. We are using our pack and play, which is the, I think it's the Ingenuity pack and play. Love it, it has a bassinet attachment for whenever your baby's a newborn, which is what she sleeps in every single night, but it also has a changing table attachment. So literally all of your essentials are in one pack and play it has a little hook on like organizer thing on the side where you can put some diapers wipes all that jazz so everything you need it's right there on the pack and play in your bedroom also something else we've been using is a bed sharing co-sleeper device called the swaddle me side sleeper and we only use that on nights when she's really fussy and i have to get up multiple multiple times when she starts falling asleep finally that's usually when i pick her up and put her back into the pack and play but that co-sleeper has been such a help because it really is a struggle getting up and getting down to get to her pack and play. She has not slept in this crib once, guys, not once. The next product I'm going to recommend are swaddles or sleep sacks, any type of thing to keep your baby warm. Right now, it is winter. It's currently blizzarding outside. Like for the past three days, it's been snowing nonstop. So since I have a winter baby, we are constantly trying to keep this child warm. So if you have a summer baby, like this is probably gonna be a whole separate list 
However, I do believe swaddles are just good all year round. They make your baby feel really snug. And I found like we bought a whole bunch of the blanket swaddles where you like swaddle them yourself. But in the middle of the night when you have to unwrap them and change their diaper and then wrap them back and you're doing that multiple times, it's really, really hard. So we found these ones by, I think it's called Swaddle Me, the same brand as the Co-Sleeper. They make pre kind of wrapped swaddles and they're so dang easy. Like even my husband can figure them out. So if you do have to change them, it's just a simple Velcro swaddle. Love those. And then we also have been using a few sleep sacks. Love those. Something I did not get before she was born, but definitely got the first week after she was born was a humidifier. If you are in a, a drier climate or somewhere where it's cold, the air is gonna be super dry. And when babies are first born, for some reason, they're just congested. The nurse told me why and the reason behind why they get congested, but I'm not a nurse and I don't remember, so I can't tell you. All I know is I get congested. So I found that having a humidifier running in her room at night really helps her breathe and it keeps her asleep longer. Love my humidifier. I just got a basic one from Target and it does the job. Another item we've been using more frequently in the last few weeks is gripe water. Gripe water is, does anyone know what gripe water actually is? Like, I have no clue what it is, but it's magic. Uh, I think it's supposed to help with like tummy issues, but it also says it helps with like colicky babies, whatever. If there's some nights whenever she's fed, she's changed and she's just fussy and she's crying for like an hour straight and we can't figure out what's wrong. Most of the time it's probably going to be gas. Uh, sometimes it's not gas, but we just give her some gripe water and in like 10 minutes she falls asleep and that has done the trick for us. So love me some gripe water. You can use it all throughout the day as well. So if you have a colicky baby, apparently it's supposed to be good for that. Our baby doesn't have colic, but she gets gassy pretty easily. So gripe water is definitely a must in our household. All for sleep, we're gonna move on to just baby gear, things that we use around our house that I really have found helpful. The first one is a new one for us, and if you watch our vlogs, you will know we just bought this. It's a baby swing. What the crap was I thinking when I didn't get a baby swing? You guys, we had so many people buy us baby gear items. One of those was not a swing. We got like rock and plays. We got a rocker. We got the pack and play. We got a play mat, which I will talk about. Didn't get a swing, didn't think I needed one, but as a new stay at home mom, my house has went to trash because I cannot put her down without her crying. I love it. It's also a portable swing. So it has a little attachment. So the rocker kind of like lifts up and you can pull it off and bring it with you around the house. So I, if I have to go into my office to get work done, I can just bring her with me and that, and it's a rocker. It's the best thing ever. It's done wonders. The one that we use is the Graco Duet Sway, I think that's what it's called. Got it from Target, amazing, love it. The next item that I've been using around the house during the day a lot is our Baby Catan baby wear carrier thing. She loves it, I love it. It took us a little while to figure out how to use, but honestly, it's one of the most easiest slings. I knew I didn't want a wrap that I would have to manually wrap all over my body. The baby Catan slips on like a scarf and then you slip your arms through it and it's so easy. Like I figured it out within two tries and it didn't take me long. Now I can put it on without even looking in the mirror. She sits in the kangaroo position mostly. Soon we're gonna be trying the hug position. We're, we're outgrowing the kangaroo. But there's all kinds of baby carriers out there. Just find which one works for you. Another item that we've been using for our little winter baby is a portable heater. That sounds really funny. If your house has really good heat, gosh, like I'm so happy for you guys, but our entire house is drafty. Like all of the windows have some sort of leaks and holes in them. So every single room is cold, except for our bedroom. Our bedroom, like that's a whole other story. Our bedroom's hot, but the rest of our house is cold. So we ended up purchasing a portable heater because we noticed that she does not nap very well in any other room. If there's not warmth. So we got a tiny portable heater from Target and we just plug it in and carry it with us wherever we need warmth at. And it's been a lifesaver as well to keep her napping if we're in the living room or our office. You have a winter baby. Think about getting a portable heater if your house is cold. This is kind of a random one and like an obvious one, but a changing table has been amazing. Even though we don't use her nursery, like we use a changing table every day. We've tried to change her like on the floor, on the couch, and it's just kind of hard having a changing table that's like at your height level so you don't have to bend over with your back has been a lifesaver. 
I love our changing table. I love the organization that we have in it. We got one from Target. Basic, I'm addicted to Target. We get everything from Target. And I don't know, just having a place to organize her things so it's not taking over my life has been great. So I do consider a changing table baby gear because it's made our life easier when changing. Like I know I said our pack and play has a changing table attachment. However, we do change her most of the time in her nursery just because it's easier on our backs. Something that's really important to do with newborns is tummy time. Like our pediatrician told us like as soon as we got home, we could start doing tummy time. Tummy time is so important for strengthening their neck muscles, their tummy muscles, all of their body. It's basically like a mini workout for babies. And I would highly, highly recommend getting a baby mat to do that with. We have hardwood floors, so I don't like sitting her on the hardwood floor for tummy time. But if you get a really plush mat, we got one from Skip and Hop, I believe, and she loves it. Sometimes, most of the time she hates tummy time, but I also can't wait until she's a little older and she can use like all the toys that are attached to it. But right now it's really helping us with not having to put her like straight on the wood floors. It's great and it looks like a cute little teepee. Moving on to our next topic, which is clothing, you guys. I don't want to stress this enough. Like, I don't know if I can stress this enough. I don't know what I'm trying to say. When it comes to babies, they do one thing. Well. They do a few things. They poop, they sleep, they eat. They wake up for like 30 minutes or so and cry maybe or smile at you when they get a few weeks older. But other than that, they do not do a lot. So at your baby shower, you're probably going to receive a ton, a ton of baby clothes. If you're anything like me, I wish people would not buy me baby clothes because I have a very specific style that I like for my baby and half the time other people's style is not that. Or you buy a ton of baby clothes that are specific to the style you like and never put your baby in them because you realize that sleepers that zip and have the little hand mitts and the feet coverings so much easier. That is the one thing I would recommend getting is just little Footy sleepers that zip up because in the middle of the night, you're not gonna wanna mess with buttons. We have so many baby clothes that she is now outgrown that were newborn sizes. I don't put her in anything else but sleepers. And I remember someone telling me that whenever I was pregnant, like they kept telling me, don't buy a whole bunch of clothing. You're not gonna use them, buy just a ton of sleepers. And I was like, Psh, mm -mm, no, I'm buying baby clothes. because This is my baby. Like, I mean, to be honest, buy baby clothes. It's fun and it helps you like get in the mood and prepare for your baby but don't buy a ton. Now, if you don't have a sleeper with the mitt little hand things on it, we have a ton of sleepers that don't. Uh, I would recommend baby mitts. We found these ones, I cannot pronounce them, but they have little Velcro things that you put them on and then you Velcro them around the wrist so they don't slip off. Oh my gosh. Why aren't every single pair of baby mitts made like this? I don't understand. We only got two pairs. I'm about to order more. I'm obsessed. They also make little booties with the Velcro as well so they don't come off. Amazing, amazing, amazing. We have a few just regular baby mitts, but they slip off of her so easily and we've lost a ton of them. So I highly recommend the ones with the Velcro around their wrist. Link down below. Love them. Next, I'm moving on to bath time with newborns. You don't really bathe them a ton. It's like every three or four days, I think, is when you're supposed to bathe them. And for their first few weeks, until their umbilical cord falls off, you can only give them sponge baths. So I found what was easiest for us was to use our Angel Care baby insert in the tub. Hello. You know, have been down? Hello. I think someone might be joining us for the rest of this video. <laughs> also, I've changed positions now because I had to move the entire camera. It's fine. Hey, don't cry on me. Don't you do it. I'm talking about the things that have made life easier with you because you're kind of hard. <laughs> Angel Care Bath actually has like little holes in it. So the water kind of like, she doesn't just like sit in the water. It kind of like just washes over her and it's great. I love our little Angel Care baby bath insert. And also you're gonna need baby soap. We found with the Johnson & Johnson, I don't know, I just didn't like the way it smelled and her skin felt weird afterwards. So we've been using the Burt's Bees baby wash and shampoo. What are you smiling at? I don't know what she's doing. And I love the way the Burt's Bees baby wash smells. It's really gentle on her skin and her skin is just like super soft afterwards. So I love those. Another product that we've been using too are these little like bath scrubby things. I don't know how to explain them. They're like, they're shaped like little eggs and they have a little thing for our hands. And we use that on her tiny head 
to wash her head. I think you use them to wash the rest of her body. But those have been a lifesaver as well. They also have like a little suction cup on them so we can suction them to the side of the bathtub. Um, and they're just always there for whenever bath time is about to happen. Something else we've been using a ton is baby washcloths. I love Burt's Bees baby washcloths. They're so soft, they're organic. Um, they're just really gentle and I use a ton of them in general like so we don't bathe her every day but she does get like sleep in her eyes or milk stuck on her neck we'll just warm up a baby washcloth with a little bit of warm water and just gently wipe off her face if she's needing a little bit of cleaning in between yeah are you smiling at me <laughs> Girl. And dad has rescued baby. Anyway, the last item I'm going to recommend for baby bath time, I said towels, washcloths. You guys get the gist. Towels are great. Washcloths are great. I'm going to recommend a baby armrest. If you are washing baby in the tub like we are, none of our sinks are big enough to put her in, so we don't have the option to wash her in a sink. But whenever you're leaning over a tub, it kind of hurts to have your arms like on the side of it. So we actually received as a baby gift this little armrest pillow thing for the tub when you wash your baby. And it has been like so great. I love it. It's awesome. It's one of those things that has been a must have for us. Like obviously it's not an essential for everybody, but if you're watching your baby in your tub, like we are, it makes it a lot easier. Let's go on to the thing that every mama loves and that's the diapering, <laughs> taking care of that baby's dirty booty. First things first, obviously you're going to need diapers and wipes, but we have found with our baby, she's sensitive to some diapers and that's, every baby's different. You may have a baby who you can wear any of the wipes you got from your baby showers and they're fine. They don't break out at all. However, we've had a hard time just with some diapers. The one brand that I've really liked is the Honest Company diapers. They're super easy. They fit her really nicely. I love the prints that come in. That's kind of like a plus side to those and she doesn't leak as bad in them. However, we did have our biggest blowout ever today, but I don't think any diaper would have been able to stop that from happening. And then the same thing with wipes. You're gonna find wipes that work for your baby and wipes that don't. However, we got a sample pack of Honest, Di like the Honest Company wipes, and honestly, honestly, <laughs> I love them the most because those wipes, are multi-purpose. They're not just for diapering. You can use them to wipe off their hands, their face, um, sanitize anything around you that you need to wipe off. And they're chemical free. They're just a great overall wipe to use on a daily basis. So as soon as we run out of our Pampers sensitive wipes, I think we're gonna purchase Honest Company from here on out. Another item I'm going to recommend are changing pad cover things. They're by Munchkin. This way, I had a friend recommend these to me and she said like, you're gonna want a lot of them because whenever baby has a blowout or pees while you're changing them, you don't wanna always change the changing pad cover. This is what they look like. I have one right here to show you guys, but they're literally just these little things. You lay them on top of the changing table and it keeps your cover a little more safe from having to change it every single time baby pees, which happened her first few weeks. She hasn't done it in a while. She would almost, she would pee every single time we changed her. So we'd always get the changing table dirty, but the Munchkin little changing pad covers have been amazing with helping with diapering. Obviously you're going to need a baby rash cream of some sort. We tried a few. Um, we tried the Holy Grail butt paste that everyone raves about. It did not work for our baby. Her diaper rash was still there and still going strong. I also didn't like the fact that it was white for some reason. I know a lot of baby diaper rash creams are white, but the smell of it, the texture of it, I just was not crazy about. Plus it wasn't healing her diaper rash. So we finally had a friend recommend to us the Aquaphor baby diaper rash cream and you can buy it in big like tubs, like big jars. Looks like this. Love, love, love this stuff. It healed her diaper rash honestly within a few hours, like her butt was so red and we put this on her. I was just like hoping it would work. And sure enough, oh my goodness, like it healed her diaper rash so fast. So I highly recommend this if you're struggling with diaper rash or just have some, like the little tube on hand because your baby might not react the same to every single diaper cream. So having just a few samples on hand to test out and figure out what works for your baby might be a good idea. Going along with the diaper rash cream, is how you apply the diaper rash cream. And maybe this is just like 
a super extra thing to have, but I love it. My husband loves it. We ended up actually buying another one because we love it so much. And that is the baby bum. It looks super crazy, but it works. And it's this little guy right here. It's seriously just like a baby spatula. So you can scoop out uh, the diaper rash cream and then rub it on their booty without you using your fingers. Cause there's many times when we're putting the diaper rash cream on her, that she ends up pooping some more. So it kind of keeps us <laughs> clean, keeps her clean. And then you just clean it off by using a baby wipe and wiping it off after each use into suctions. But this just looks kind of, but like I said, we loved it so much. We ended up buying another one just to keep in our diaper bag. So I recommend the baby bum. With diapering comes needing to throw away diapers. So what I would recommend is some type of diaper pail. Right now we're currently using the diaper genie and we like it. However, it fills up so fast. We're actually going to be looking into other diaper pails to see if there's any one that fills up less fast. Like we have to change our diaper pail every two days. I would like one that we only have to take out maybe like four days at a time. It is really good at hiding the odors of the baby poo. So I highly recommend a diaper genie as well. Some moms hate them and don't use them, but we use it. I don't like throwing away diapers just in our normal trash can. I'd rather have a place just to put all of her diapers. But this is going into my next section, which is kind of miscellaneous items. And I'll start off with this. Let's say your baby just had a lot of monstrous poos and that diaper genie is trying its darndest to keep the smells covered, but you can still smell a little bit. We keep her diaper genie in her nursery. If you can see right there, we have like a little Scentsy warmer. And if the smell's getting a little crazy, but we still have a while till we can take out the diaper genie, I use wax melts in her nursery just to kind of help hide the scent. I'm not a consultant, but I'm just a huge fan of Scentsy. And this smell, I love it so much. Before we even had her, I ended up ordering like two more bars of this stuff. It's called the Jamie Time. I wish you guys could smell it. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish our whole house could smell like this, honestly. Another item that we have been using a lot lately is a pacifier clip because we have lost so many dang pacifiers. I don't know what it is, but we lose them. We lose them all the time. So that's a kind of a misc item. I'd recommend pacifiers if you want to use them. We love the ma'am ones. That's all our baby will take. And then I know a lot of babies take the Suvi ones as well. She will not take a Suvi. She barely takes her woe nub. She's a huge ma'am <laughs> pacifier user. It's her favorite. So we stocked up on a lot of ma'ams, but then we started losing them. So we purchased a pacifier clip from ryanandrose.com and they actually have an Amazon site as well if you wanna shop through them and get prime shipping. Using cozy blankets in general have been a must have for us as well. She received a whole bunch of blankets for baby showers and let me tell you, we've used a ton of them just because if I'm laying on the couch nursing or sitting with her, I like to wrap her up in just a cozy blanket. So getting a few nice blankets, also they're gonna be like keepsake items. So getting one or two that maybe will turn into her lovey someday, I don't know, worth a shot. Another item I never thought about was alcohol test strips if you're breastfeeding um, because I cannot tell you guys how excited I was to have my first glass of wine after baby. I was nervous about breastfeeding the baby after having a glass of wine, but these strips are super easy. You just pump your milk and you dip your strip in the milk and then it'll tell you whether or not it tests positive for alcohol trace or negative. So it's just like a peace of mind, like one glass of alcohol, honestly, you're not gonna have a trace in your breast milk. However, I was just paranoid and I wanted to make sure that there wasn't a trace. Fantastic, which kind of leads into my last topic, which is feeding, feeding in general. We've done all sorts of feeding. We've done formula feeding, pumped feeding, and breastfeeding. So I have a lot of essentials for you. The first one I'm gonna recommend is a pump. I know some moms don't recommend getting a pump until later. Uh, I say why wait? At least in the United States, a lot of insurances still will pay for a breast pump. We use the website aeroflow.com, which actually handled all of that for me. I entered in my insurance information. They contacted contacted my insurance to see what pumps I qualified for. And then they gave me an option of a whole bunch of pumps. So I got my breast pump um, around November, so a month before baby came. 
didn't have to pay a dime. And I know if you're breastfeeding, they tell you not to pump for the first three or four weeks. However, sometimes things happen. So having a pump on hand is very, very helpful. Like our second day in the hospital with our newborn, our pediatrician told us to start pumping. I'm so glad I had a pump. Like the hospital had a pump that I could use there, but what would I do when I go home and I needed the pump still? So I recommend getting a pump if you can, if you're planning on breastfeeding. If you're pumping or bottle feeding, a bottle that we have really liked are the Dr. Brown's bottles. We have been using the Even Flow bottles and we really liked those too, but we noticed that they leak. They're really cheap and they're simple. However, they randomly will leak and she gets really gassy. Like you have to burp her a ton after we give her a bottle from the Even Flow bottles. However, for the price, they're great. We needed something that was gonna make bottle feeding easier. We were tired of leaking bottles and just she's a gassy baby in general. So we needed help with the gas. Dr. Brown's natural bottles, I think that's what they're called, have been great. I love them and they're super cute because they're pink. If you're breastfeeding, having some type of pillow might help. I haven't used my boppy pillow a ton for breastfeeding. However, I use the boppy to prop her up when bottle feeding. If I'm in the middle of pumping at the same time, that has been a lifesaver. And when I do breastfeed in bed, I use my boppy and it's really nice to prop her up so I don't have to hold her with my arms because my arms do get tired after a while. I feel like the boppy is a little more optional. I would say don't get it at first, see how you do. And then after that, decide whether or not to get it. If you're bottle feeding, having a bottle cleaner, like a specific bottle dishwash soap is really handy. And having like a little bottle dishwashing sponge or brush and safe dishwasher pods. So we also hand wash our bottles and we dishwash our bottles and our normal dishwashing pods was leaving our bottles smelling like soap. Uh, and I noticed she would spit out certain bottles and then I'd smell the bottle and it smells so strongly as soap and then I'd smell the other bottles. It's almost like there was a soap residue on them. So that really made me nervous. So I purchased a um, dishwasher pod that had no chemicals in it. It was the method one. So that's what we've been using the last few times. She hasn't spit out, spit out a bottle since. I don't know, it gave me a peace of mind knowing that our dishwasher pods were chemical free and organic and plant-based. If you're bottle feeding, you're probably going to need also a bottle drying rack. We used the one that looks like a little lawn of grass. I love it. And then we also have one by Munchkin that just holds like your bottles upright. Love both of them. We use both of them. We also use a dishwasher basket by Munchkin so you can put all of your nipples in there and all the little screw on top parts for the bottles that the nipples go in, the lids to the bottles, just so it keeps all of your smaller bottle items in one little section. If you're breastfeeding, something your baby's gonna need is vitamin D drops. We use Zarbi's vitamin D drops, uh, recommended by our pediatrician. So definitely check with your pediatrician to make sure you should be using them. But our pediatrician told us if we were breastfeeding, we needed to use vitamin D drops. So we've been using those. They're definitely essential level. And apparently they're tasteless. She doesn't fuss when I give them to her. And it's just an everyday vitamin. Last but not least, and you'll want a lot of these just around the house in general, burp cloths. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Get a ton of burp cloths. We go through them like crazy because after she spits up on one a ton, we have to throw it into the laundry basket and grab another one on the same day, sometimes multiple times a day. So I have loved uh, the Burt's Bees burp cloths. They're super, super thick. So I find that we can use those a little longer. However, we also purchased ones from Bye Bye Baby that were super cheap and they're just little thin cloths. However, like they leave fuzzies on her. I don't know, a burp cloth is a burp cloth. You can use also your swaddles or receiving blankets as burp cloths but having a ton on hand so you don't have to do a ton of laundry, very, very helpful. All right, guys, that is my list of newborn essentials. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see any other mommy related videos, you can comment those suggestions down below. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we will see you guys next time. Bye.